What's up, people? Uh, it's been a little bit since I put out a video, so I thought I would throw a little something out there just to let you know I am alive. Uh, it's been a crazy July. Um, working 12-hour days at work, and I, I don't want it to sound like I'm complaining because, you know, so many people are still without work. And I'm very thankful for my job and the hours. But, man, 12-hour days gets old and long in a hurry. So, uh been working 12-hour days and then trying to keep up with everything else, you know, brewing when I can. And I was actually going to video my last brew uh, day where uh, I did the like a Bell's clone. Uh, none of my brews, clones actually turn out exactly like the brews they're supposed to, but they turn out good. But uh, I was going to video that process, and I didn't do it. I actually had a buddy over here helping me, and I just, to be honest with you, I totally forgot about it. But maybe I'll get get a brew day videoed here before too long uh, with a 10-gallon batch. And uh, really, man, just working. Took a, actually did go on vacation a couple of weeks ago, and uh, show you a little something on that here in a minute that I thought, thought was funny. But... Uh, yeah, just been working and dealing with this heat like everybody else has all over the country. And I, it's Saturday morning, and I've been out doing stuff, you know, trying to get caught up on yard work and little projects here and there, and already working up a sweat here by 8 o'clock Saturday morning. So, uh, really, as far as brew wise, you know, just like I say, trying to brew when I can. Uh, got 10 gallons fermenting, got a nut brown ale, a pale ale, and uh, an IPA on tap. The uh, pale ale, I really don't like. It's, I mean, it's all right, but it's just, I don't know. I, I, I probably wouldn't make it again. It's just, I, you know, you know me. I'm a hophead, and if it don't have much of a taste, I'm not much for it. Uh, I mean, it's a good beer, it's drinkable, like everybody says. But uh, the nut brown's getting a little better. It's a little thin uh, tasting because you know I missed my mass temperatures. I think I mentioned that a couple times. Uh, got a little low on the mass temp, so I think that needs to be. Uh, Mashed a little higher to give it a little more body. But it's getting better with age. I'm really trying to lay off of it and give it plenty of time to to age. Uh, and like I say, I got the Bells clone fermenting. I got uh, three brews that I want to do. I ordered some ingredients. I was going to brew one 10-gallon batch or five-gallon batch tomorrow. But um, the ingredients didn't make it in. Some of it did, some of it didn't. Uh, so tomorrow I may just throw something together and make a, an IPA, just a five-gallon batch. And... <clears throat> probably next weekend if I can I'll do a 10 gallon batch but I want to do a, another Pliny clone I've done a Pliny the Elder way back when loved it and just hadn't done it again because of all this stu other stuff I want to try so I'm going to do a Pliny clone again I'll do that recipe again and I want to do uh, actually get my frozen toes back in rotation because I'm out of that and I uh, found an Oktoberfest recipe that's actually not a lager it uses a cold sheast so it won't be doing uh, a lager uh, recipe, but um, or want lager, but um, see how that turns out. Try to get something for fall, you know, ready and let it sit for a few months. So. And other than that, still looking for a, a nine cubic foot chest freezer because I, I still, if you see my last video, you know, where I hate my kegerator, uh, probably go ahead and get a nine cubic foot chest freezer and, and be working on it, putting a collar on it, and getting it ready to uh, use for my kegerator or keyser, as I will call it. I uh, got a few other projects. Uh, I, you know, I got a thermometer for my hot liquor tank, and it was—it's not calibrated. It was—I calibrated it at 32 degrees, and when I used it last weekend or whenever it was for the first time, it was off at the higher temps. So I'm going to calibrate it at like 175 degrees, which is where I usually heat my strike water up to, which is critical. So I'll try to calibrate that and and see how that goes. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, I think I'm going to modify my mash tun. It's outside. Not my mash tun, but my boil kettle. It's sitting outside and getting ready to clean it. But I didn't even fully clean it the last time I brewed it. I ain't had time. But um, I think I'm going to take my dip tube and uh, try to find a 90 degree stainless steel. Well, you won't be able to take you out there and see it, but it's full of water. Uh, basically, what I'll do is the ball valve going to the inside where it Right now it goes to the inside and there's a coupler and then the dip tube, you know, goes straight out and down. I'm going to take that uh, dip tube off and put a 90 degree stainless steel fitting pointing to the left or right and have my dip tube pointing over to the side and maybe try some whirlpooling just out of curiosity to see if I can get some of the cold break 
<coughs> to keep from going into my fermenters. Just to try that, see how that goes. Been reading a lot on cold break going into the fermenter, and I know, uh, you know, that's a big debate. So, evidently, my grandson's here. I hear my dog barking, so uh, I may have to finish this video up in a minute, but my, I'm going to spend some time with my grandson today. Uh, seemed like there was something else I was going to tell you that I'm going. Oh, I'm putting a. Uh, I had done a. Um, conversion on my sink a while back and uh, I'm gonna catch up with my grandson here and then I'll, I'll get back with you on that. Alright so I got the little man down here so I'm gonna try to finish this up and maybe do some other stuff later before I post this video but what I was talking about on my sink is uh, you know a while back I put a uh, I'm trying to think here I'm listening upstairs. So. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah I hold on pop, hold on a minute. A while back I I converted my sink, you know, I put my sink downstairs, my utility sink, and I put, shh, let's not, hold up, hold up. Uh, I put a uh, valve on, okay, go get, a to go get a toy. I put a valve on here so I could tap into my cold water line to run my hose outside with the RV hose to fill up, you know, my hot liquor tank and stuff and not have to carry water out, blah, blah, blah. And at the time I did this, I had old, like, flexible hose on the hot water side, and I couldn't really use it because it was, uh, wasn't hooked up correctly. Okay, we'll go play golf. We'll go play golf. And so what I'm going to do is, see, you see I have taken this line off the hot side, and I'm going to Lowe's here in a little bit, and get another valve to put over here, so I can hook this hose up to the hot water side. No, we're out. We're going outside. And did you get all that with all the kid talk so basically what I'm wanting to do is hook up my hose to my hot water side so I can fill up my hot water tank my hot liquor tank okay I'm gonna fill up my hot liquor tank with hot water to save me a few degrees when I go to heat up when I go to heat up my strike and sparge water okay my grandson's adorable I'm coming when I heat up my strike and sparge water, I'll be using hot water, so it'll save me, you know, instead of trying to heat up 60-some degree water, 70 degree water, I'll be heating up 120 degree water, somewhere around there, 115 degree. And uh, so that'll save me a little propane and a little time. But anyway, here's the little man before I let this go with his golf clubs, and we're going to go out in the backyard and hit some golf balls. Hey, Kyle. What? Can you say hello to everybody? Cheese. No, you don't have to say cheese. Just say, uh, say homebrew. <laughs> is that me? Say, I love you, Papa. I love you, Papa. That's my man right there. I love him. All right. Going to play with the that? grandson. That's my, that's my lawnmower. That's my lawnmower. We're going to mow the yard. Later. Hit it one time. Hit it hard. Hit it hard. You missed it. Oh, come on. Hit it. Yeah. You going to be a golfer one day? Huh? There you go, that was a good one. What? No, it's cool, it's cool. You cannot deny, you must reapply. Come here, Gary. Gary. Is that how you call a rat? Like a dog? 